Hi, and welcome to another popper and stick bait uh, video. Well, today, as you can see, we've got the Halco Rooster Popper range, or the range I've got anyway. There might be some other sizes, but these are the ones I have. So this is the big boy. This is one everyone knows. So this is the Rooster Haymaker. So this is 190 mil long. Um, with most of my lures, I like to actually write the weight of the, with a, you know, I'm using Electra Set or whatever you want to call these transfers now. Um, on the lure so i know exactly how much it weighs when i pick it up i did have a guide uh, in costa rica pick up a lure and put it on a rod and go no 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 you can't cast that on there why not well the lure is too heavy for the rod so it's useful having it on there um so 300 pounds um oh, i've forgotten the name of these <laughs> rings yet, yet again it will come to me in a minute decoy 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 rings 300 pound decoy decoy rings um there is a 90 lone diablo um inline single barbless or barbless crushed as you can see on the tail um its belly hook is a gamakatsu gt recorder i believe that's a 5.0 treble hooks are really all hooks to be honest are really really difficult to say you need this size for that lure and that size for that every hook is different one of the just to briefly go off bkk let you print out an exact one-to-one -one scale of their Lone Diablo. So you can literally put the look, the hook on there and, and go, oh, actually, no, I need a bigger one or a smaller one. And it's really, really useful. I do like BKK. The problem is getting hold of them in the UK is a bit difficult. So the next one down is the 160. Um, I had one of these in Costa Rica, cast out hooked fish, and immediately a mackerel came along and tried to take it out of the rooster fish's mouth and cut the line, and I lost the popper. So... Wasn't too happy with that, but anyway, um, so 7.0 BKK Lone Diablo. Um, these are uh, 200 pound rings. I believe that is an owner um, treble. Um, the good thing about the uh, Halco Rooster Poppers, because of the shape of the, the cup, um, they're quite easy to work from the point of view that you only have that little bit digging in the water and the rest obviously creating the splash. So th they're not too hard on, on the arms to, to use. Um, another thing I liked about this one is it hasn't got a white belly. It's something different to show them, which is something that I just so much believe in. Then going the other way, this one has, <laughs> but it's got a red chin. Um, so this is the 135, I believe. Uh, this particular one weighs 42 grams. Um, there, there is a 4 0 Lone, Lone Diablo, um, 150 pound rings. I think they're 150s. No, the 200 pound rings. No, I'm, I'll change my mind again. The 150 pound rings. Um, the hook on the belly, I don't know what make it is. It's so, so difficult to say um, what size hook's gone where. On the tail, it's quite easy, but trebles, they're so different. You know, j just to briefly go on on that, if you look at how this gt recorder is the hooks are shaped like that um there is also the bkk um that i can't remember the name of but i will i will, will remember it for one of the other videos i do because i've got them on uh, that look and the points actually point in a bit um, so this one nice sort of reefy type size this one 42 43 grams so you can use this on a smaller rod um Super easy to cast, super easy to work. Nice big splash out of that. Um, and then going on to the baby of the bunch. So this one's uh, 105, I, th I believe. Only weighs 30 grams. I haven't bothered putting trebles on it. I haven't found I've needed to. A yellow belly. So yet again, a different colour to show them. Um, I found this works quite well. Um, doesn't need a treble to hold it in. And to be honest, if I was using uh, the rod I would use for this, uh, which is my lightest rod, um, if it's too choppy, I wouldn't be using that rod. I'd be using a heavy rod. So there we go. So there's lots and lots of different colours. They're available pretty much worldwide, which is great. Um, they are a genuinely good lure. They, interestingly, aren't wired through. I emailed Halco about this and said, look, are, are these wired through? No. I said, well, why not? Surely a GT is just going to rip it to pieces. And they said they've never had a fish destroy one of these lures. That's a challenge, obviously, um, but um, yeah, they, they've got that much confidence in them, and as a result, so I have. Um, so if you've enjoyed this video, please don't hesitate to give me a thumbs up. Please do ask any questions below, and I'll do my best to answer them, um, and subscribe to the channel. Many thanks now. Bye-bye.